Good morning, everyone. It's January the 17th, 2024. Uh, as I promised, uh, any updates I had, I was going to pass them on. And uh, today's update is about a meeting I attended um, last night. Now, this was uh, an advertised uh, meeting, and uh, it was um, uh, put up online. And, well, it was interesting because we went to, in person. Uh, we met at the church. It was put on from the... Um, Alliance uh, for Homelessness here in Ottawa, and I've attended, that was a past meeting I also attended with them, but this was a special meeting. Uh, we met in the church, and it was well attended, mind you. Uh, there was probably about 600 people uh, in the church on the pews listening to this, because this was a special one. It was also uh, recorded and broadcast uh, across Canada as well to other um people who were dealing with the homeless and that, so it was well received. Um, the meeting uh, was about the homeless, of course, what to do with the homeless. Um, the uh, speakers were very interesting. We had the commentator who um, did the interviews and that. She was has worked in the government and other things. And so uh, one of the main people was our housing federal housing minister, Fraser. He was there to speak. We had an Indigenous woman speaking as well because she was speaking on what the Indigenous were doing with the money that they were receiving from the federal government uh, to uh, address the uh, Indigenous issues on housing, as well as we had a very special guest speaker uh, last night, and that was the ambassador from Finland and her colleague who were expressing how they managed homelessness in Finland because they hardly have any homeless at all on the streets in Finland. So it was a very interesting meeting last night. Uh, she started off, she was telling us how they do it. Um, it was decided that uh, they would spend the money on the uh, homeless uh, in the long run. In the short term, it was going to cost money, yes, but in the long term, it was going to pay off, which it did. And uh, so they have, I think they, she was saying sometimes they have maybe out of five million people, or yeah, million people, um, in uh, Finland, of course, uh, because it's such a small country, they have maybe about 3,000 sometimes on the streets. But they explained how they house them. Uh, it's government-funded. Uh, the government apparently um, owns the uh, property, and they have their own construction company that uh, builds the uh, homes for the homeless. Uh, it's very supportive housing in the fact that they... Um, they have all. They realize and recognize, like I've been also saying, that we have the mentally ill, for example. They use that too. Uh, each individual person has their own unique needs that has to be addressed. So they they've centered it around what everyone needs, so that they that when they get the housing, it's more like well, you pay what you can afford to pay, where we have subsidies and stuff like that. And but it's all based on working to get them back into the workforce as well if they're not or if they have to get a home they they work uh, towards getting them another home if they are working but are stuck in that in a shelter at the time because they've lost their home so they have a very unique way of doing things and it's been very successful now of course um, it was also brought up uh, that with us here in Canada and especially and as well as in the United States here what's happening is um, that uh, <clears throat> uh, the homeless here are, are really in a, in a problem because it's been horrible in the fact that the funding isn't there for them, number one. We just found out um, through the federal minister as well that for 30 years now, it was 30 years ago apparently, this was knowledge that I had no knowledge of, that our governments decided that they were not going to spend any money and build social housing. So everyone was just kind of looking, not realizing just how far back this actually went. And this is part of the history of the situation. So this is one of the reasons why we are where, where we are today. But we also have the unique problem in both the States and Canada of the uh, opioid crisis as well. That's on top of us, which is not there in Finland. So it was really a very interesting meeting last night. And um, the federal minister also had to admit um, that it was uh, 
not certainly not our present governments. It was past tense and uh, what the previous governments did that we're trying to catch up on now. And um, he said, and the other interesting thing was he was talking about they had, uh, in 2019, the federal government here had set up some sort of a program that they were monitoring and to see how successful it was. And from what he was saying, that um, this kind of went got uprooted when the pandemic hit. So they aren't sure where the numbers are right now. They're trying to play catch up on that as well. So we learned some interesting things from, from people, but we all agreed that we all have to work together to, uh, to find a solution. And I know our federal minister also said a lot of it's coming now and the push is actually coming from the citizens who are absolutely horrified, we all are, that we have so many homeless on the streets and the violence and all of the problems that this is creating around it. So it's definitely agreed that it's not going to be an overnight solution. It's going to be a slow, long-term solution. But understanding the problems and um, going back now and taking this all back in, and I'm still trying to take in what I heard last last night so that I have a, another brief meeting with our homeless um I'm also on the homeless committee here with a you know, with our community association. So I was with someone with a uh, community uh, association, and we're all kind of just trying to take this all in and see what we can get from it. Um, is coming down, I think, is what I was saying too. Is the housing is just not going to be there overnight. This is going to take some time, is uh, to get it up and running. But we're getting there slowly. We're and one of the biggest things was the jurisdictions and the amount of rules and regulations to get these this housing built because of the three different federal levels where uh, Finland only has one basic level of government. So that's a huge uh, signal that we have, why we have such a problem. And like I said, this is why when we had the convoy in, we had a problem because we had three levels of government too. So it's a matter of all the governments uh, coming together and now doing something to stabilize the situation, not only putting the funding together, but people are now pushing. And this is what the best thing that we can do is keep pushing our politicians and making sure that, uh, as our federal minister said, no one in the in, in the politics now is going to get elected if they don't do something about the homeless. But I've never seen such a big outreach, and he's, and that's what the federal minister said he's never seen so many people stepping forward on the homeless issue and to basically keep the momentum that we have going so i just wanted to brief you on a bit of an update today that it's continuing forward we're just all absorbing what we heard but people from all walks of um from social workers to those who um, b um are involved uh dealing with the social housing that's built today um all walks uh, people were um, involved in this so it was really good to see everybody come together and a few people I recognized and we also had some of our politicians also attending this as well so it was a really really good meeting so I just wanted to brief you in that things are proceeding slowly but again I think uh, from what I have said too that in the meantime uh, it's up to I think what we have um, in our infrastructure structure that what we have to use for the short term uh, getting into the housing will be to make sure that we have um, suitable things in place for the winter to house the homeless uh, at that time of the year. So again, everyone be safe, have a nice day, and we shall talk again soon. And bye-bye.